Uh, thank you, Harry. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'd like to start my report this evening um, by adding my thanks to, uh, to Harry's, uh, to everybody uh, involved in uh, Mulgrave's success this year. As Harry has said, it's been quite a remarkable year, um, and uh, many members of the Mulgrave community have played their part in that. I'd like to say to our students um, this evening that I'm hugely proud of what they have achieved, and, and, and in many senses, the success of our school um, is shown through the success uh, and achievements of, of our students. Um, I'm really proud of what they have achieved, and, and more importantly, I think they deserve very much to be proud of their own achievements, uh, as they have all striven for their personal best in many areas uh, of school life. I'd like also to thank our parents, like Harry. Um, our parents play a, an incredible part in our school. They perform a wonderful, wonderful role, uh, and in ter just in terms of this year's success, have been really instrumental um, in, in making our school so special. But as Harry has also acknowledged, I think uh, my, my thanks, uh, my greatest thanks are reserved to my colleagues on the teaching staff. Um, they go the extra mile, and I think we all know that. Um, they are incredible people. They are committed to uh, our children. Um, they're committed to our children's achievements. They're committed to the breadth of education that, our, that our, our children are provided with. And they're also committed to their own learning. And there isn't a day that goes by that I'm not in, in, in awe of what they do. And finally, thank you to the board. Um, it has been a, a challenging year, a challenging few years, actually. And uh, the support and guidance of the board have been, uh, have been really important. Uh, to our school in, in reaching these new levels. I'm not going to repeat what I've uh, written in the annual report. As Harry has said, it's, um, it's an excellent report and every parent and uh, member of the community will have a chance to read that. Um, but again, I would like to acknowledge the work of Elizabeth Cauldron and the communications and marketing team uh, in putting that report together, uh, but also for the work they do, uh, the incredible work they do in supporting our school. What I do want to do this evening is take the opportunity to talk a little bit about the future. Um, this is actually the final year of our strategic plan that we established in 2011. Um, and it's been very gratifying to review just how much has been achieved uh, in that uh, four year period. I think we've come a long way. Our students' broad education, their achievements, by any measure, have improved dramatically. Um, and now is the time when we need to look forward to the next four or five years. It is important we are not complacent. We have a good school. I think we have, we have more than a good school. We have an outstanding school. But we mustn't be complacent. The world is changing very rapidly. Uh, technology will continue to advance exponentially. But the world will continue to change in other ways, both globally and locally, which will mean that the world our children enter from 2016 next year when they graduate to 2031, which is when our pre-K-3 children graduate from the Early Learning Center, <clears throat> the world will be very different. I think that futurists and, and other visionary thinkers are, are finding it increasingly hard to determine what the world will be like, um, and especially for our young adults when they leave school and university in, in those future years. But I think it's clear that the world is going to be increasingly challenging for them in, in, in many ways. Um, it's going to be more competitive. It's certainly going to be more different from the world that we entered when we left school and university, whenever that was. And it's certainly going to be different from the world that our graduates are experiencing now. For education and for schools like Mulgrave, it is clear that we need to increasingly focus on the core things, albeit as we understand them now, that will be important for our children to lead happy and fulfilled uh, and successful lives in the future, but also to go out into the world as leaders uh, and to make a difference. At, at the core of this, uh, the board and the school leadership team, who've spent some time recently thinking about these things, see a number of key educational trends potentially impacting on all divisions of our school uh, that we consider should influence the direction uh, of, of the education at Mulgrave and how that education will develop in the next few years. And what I'd like to do now is just to share some of those trends with you and how we see the future of education developing. Firstly, at a time when other schools and other jurisdictions are reducing the size of their curriculum um, and allowing students to specialize at a much earlier age, 
we feel that we want to go in a slightly different direction because we believe that for Mulgrave students, and remember Mulgrave students will all go on to university um, and all spend another four or five years in, uh, in, at university or in higher education. We believe that for them, they should continue their broad liberal arts-based curriculum until they leave high school. So not shrinking the, the extent of their core experience, not allowing them to over-specialize, over but allowing them to continue the, the broad education uh, that, that we currently provide. That doesn't mean that they will not be able to follow their passions and interests, and that's very important. But they will be able to have a broad education and they will be able to follow their passions and interests within the broad framework that we provide through the IB programs of the PYP, the MYP, uh, and the DP. Now, this is not a revolutionary or transformational change, and those words are often used in education these days but it will involve quite radical incremental change as we develop over the next few years. We do know that the curriculum and, and the IB curriculum will continue to develop and evolve so that students are focusing less on knowledge acquisition and much more on those high level cognitive skills and conceptual understandings that are lifelong uh, and are transferable into a range of situations. We know that learning needs to be increasingly personalized and improved so that all students can develop those cognitive skills to the highest possible level. And of course, in future, some of that learning will happen increasingly via online learning. It's happened already at Mulgrave. We've embraced online learning to some extent. We will embrace that in the future in a limited way. Secondly, um, we know that academic success uh, is no longer, and actually probably never has been, enough to ensure that students can lead happy and fulfilled and successful lives. So in addition to developing strong cognitive skills, things such as research, uh, information literacy, critical thinking, problem solving, students need to even further develop their social uh, and emotional skills and their self-management skills, but also a new skill set which is focused on, for example, things like creativity, uh, metacognition, digital literacy, entrepreneurialism, innovation, and intercultural skills. This increasingly, I think, is the new skill sets that our students uh, will require in future to be successful, to be happy, and, and to be fulfilled. Students of the, of the future will need to know how to create jobs, not just get jobs and to use those high-level skills that they will get from a Mulgrave education to really change the world for the better. Many of these skills will be delivered through the current curriculum framework, but it's also clear that we do need to develop new courses and new programs and new emphases within our curriculum to ensure that the development of those human-centric social and emotional skills are the main focus of what is being taught but also that they are being taught in a real-world, authentic context uh, situation. To enrich learning in this way and to develop this emphasis, it will mean that we will need, over the next few years, to continue to review how we structure our school day and our school week uh, and our school year to meet those different demands. And finally, we believe that ed education happens not only through the formal curriculum, but it also happens very powerfully through curriculum enrichment, especially in schools like Mulgrave. Um, and we will strive over the next few years, I think, to ensure that we continue to develop our provision uh, in performing arts, uh, in global outreach, in service learning, uh, in athletics, um, and other areas of, of school life that provide that really special enrichment, I think, which characterizes uh, schools like Mulgrave. And it's not only that list too, there are other areas where we also need to develop our provision. And I think increasingly in the future, we will look to be doing that in partnership with other organizations, both local organizations uh, and international organizations. All of this will require that a Mulgrave education continues to evolve and develop. We will need to be agile and innovative as we move forward and indeed take the lead, I think, in taking education to a new level. We will need to further improve our facilities and we will need to further improve our staffing to make those things happen. I think we're very fortunate that we have a community of stakeholders at Mulgrave who have vision themselves and who, don't, and who understand 
that we don't only have to be true to our core traditional values, but we also have to look to the future and to continuously improve and innovate if we are to keep our education at a, at a, at a high level and allow our students to reach the remarkable goals which they, which they set for themselves. And as part of that, as part of that debate and that discourse, we will continue to uh, involve our community, uh, obviously our parent community, our student community, but also our, our alumni, our alumni families, uh, our parents, and, and indeed the wider community in making sure that we reach uh, these, these new levels. All of what I've described is still underpinned, I think, by the current mission and vision that we have. And I think it's worth concluding with those words which were set by our founding families and staff, which you may not have on your tongue, but you will recognize. So by inspiring excellence, the continuous pursuit of personal best in education and life, Mulgrave strives to equip lifelong learners to thrive in a culturally diverse and interdependent world, and to embrace with passion and confidence their responsibility to always do their best to support others and to make a difference by serving their communities both locally and in the world at large. That's a very powerful vision statement and I think it's as true today as it is, as it was rather, when it was put together more than 20 years ago now by our founding families uh, and staff. In a world where even this week there is increased uncertainty, there's more inequality, there's climate change and conflict, we need our students more than ever to make a difference in the world. And as the IB mission says, to create a better and more peaceful world. In the coming months, we're going to consult with all stakeholders um, about the, these directional trends which I've mentioned tonight. And we want to get feedback from our stakeholders about whether they agree with those trends, whether they see particular priorities within them, and we're going to seek our stakeholders' views about how we should develop in the future. So there will be an extensive exercise in which we um, provide a questionnaire for all of our parents, our staff, uh, and particularly our students, but also opportunities to have a face-to-face -face dialogue about the things that I've mentioned this evening and about some of the big uh, trends in education uh, that are happening around the world. Uh, things that the board have considered when they've begun to think about these directional trends which I've mentioned. So thank you for uh, listening. I hope, that, um, I hope that we can all revel in uh, an absolutely out outstanding year, but also revel in the fact that uh, we are looking forward with some eagerness uh, and excitement towards the next five-year period uh, and are putting some energy and some deep thought into where a Mulgrave education goes and, and where we want our children uh, ultimately to be. Thank you very much. Mm.